Welcome to the Liberty Entrepreneurs Podcast, where we explore how to build freedom through the entrepreneurial process. Our goal is to provide you with the tools and mindset needed to create your lifestyle of independence and flexibility. I'm your host, Ash Whitener, and this is episode 23, Transparency and Voting on the Blockchain, with our special guest, the Follow My Vote team of Nathan, Adam, and William. Please follow us on Twitter at Liberty E Podcast and Facebook slash Liberty Entrepreneurs. Show notes are found on our website, libertyentrepreneurs.com and on YouTube. Enjoy the show. We are with the Follow My Vote team, uh, Nathan, Adam, and William. Guys, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Nathan, tell me a little bit about uh, Follow My Vote and what your mission statement is and what you guys are trying to accomplish. All right. Follow My Vote is a company in Blacksburg, Virginia. We're doing open source end-to-end verifiable online voting software. Our mission statement is to promote truth and freedom by empowering individuals to create and implement non-coercive solutions to societal problems. So, one of the manifestations of that is a voting system, right? If, uh, so let's say that we get what we want, right? And that's a voluntary society, everyone wants to operate peacefully, and no one wants to coerce anyone, but in practice, you've still got problems. You've still got issues and things that you need to come to consensus on. And so, especially if you want to scale that, voting software will be incredibly useful for that. So this uses blockchain technology to secure the votes or make the votes transparent. Adam, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, yeah, sure. We've, we've entered into a, a, a new paradigm of what's technologically possible. Uh, with, with the advent of blockchain technology, I mean, never before were you able to do something like we're ta- we're we're doing with Follow My Vote. Um, if you think back to 2000, it's actually uh, my, the first election I ever voted in was the presidential election of 2000. I had just turned 18, and what a debacle and a com- con- uh, a nightmare that really was um, for the the people of the United States. You know, at the end of the day, we really didn't know. Who, who, who really won that, rightfully won that election? You know, there was no way for us to, to penetrate that black box and be able to, to count the votes and know that um, the vote totals that were being reported were, were true and accurate. And um, it made a quite an impression on me. You know, I didn't know how to solve that problem uh, just yet. I mean, I was pre-blockchain, right, right. But with, with, with uh, you know, um, I decided to, to start you know, follow my vote um, with the, princi- the the premise on the premise of, of holding elected officials accountable to voting in ways that represent the will of the people. And when I learned of blockchain technology, light bulb clicked and it was like that that is the solution. That is a way we can make a verifiable voting system and know for sure um, that our elections, uh, if, if they must take place, they're, they're true and honest. And so do you see this working for elections from like where we would go and vote on various things, maybe public or private, but do you also see this implementation internal to Congress for as long as we have one, right, to, to actually track what these congressmen are voting on? Is that being tracked now or, or how do you see that happening? Right. So um, there are a lot of different um, organizations out there that that track um, what Congress is doing. Um, they, 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 they track the, the drafting of legislation, um, the, the, the Senate bills and the House bills that are put up. GovTrack.us is actually a really solid site. They do great work, um, but they catalog every single bill that gets introduced and ev- how every single politician votes on those bills. Um, the reality is a lot of politicians um, aren't able to to be in in dc from time to time and they're not able to vote um because they have to be there to vote so this uh, you know we're talking about a solution is secure enough for for our our congress um to use there in the united states um and be able to vote remotely and still participate um without actually being there um because they could have like a, a public key that they would sign their vote and submit it to the blockchain and that would be verifiable so that they voted, maybe they're campaigning. I know a big issue 
I mean, we're all anarchists, but I know a big issue on the campaign trail is like, oh, Marco Rubio hasn't voted but in 35% of his votes because he's all out on the campaign trail. It sounds like this would help solve that problem. You know, hey, okay, well, you can't be in D.C., well, at least you're going to be able to vote. I mean, none of us really support political voting to, be, right. to begin with, but it's a good way to track your vote, like you guys say. Right, that's exactly right. And think about it when, when Marco Rubio isn't able to vote. What does that actually mean? That means that he's not able to cast his vote in representation of his people, the people he's been elected to represent. And so it's, it's, it's not the, the people who really lose in that situation – are the people, you know, with within his state. And so this is a way to make it make it more fair and not only for the politicians, but for us really at the end of the day, because he's representing them and casting the vote on behalf of them. And so we're disenfranchised based on the current system and, and we, we can fix that. So tell me a bit more about the project, Nathan. I think you're uh, the, the CTO. Um, where's the project stand technologically? How far have you guys come? Like where where are you at in the cycle? Sure. So we're still fairly early in development. Um, we're working on our initial software release, which will be a stake-weighted voting system. Um, so for those who aren't familiar with all the different types of voting, uh, i.e. most of us, uh, stake-weighted voting would be kind of like shareholders voting in a company, where your vote is weighted by how much stock or stake you own in that company. So not everyone's vote counts for the same weight. Um, this is incredibly useful for cryptocurrencies because cryptocurrencies are a kind of stake in a blockchain. And so, for instance, we're targeting the BitShares blockchain initially with our stake-weighted voting system. And that system will allow BitShares to take votes of the BitShares stakeholders based on how much BitShares they own. And so that will be useful for the BitShares community to come to consensus on how they should uh, direct blockchain development in the future. So that's going to be our first product. And from there, we're going to expand out to the one-person, one-vote designs. The one-person, one-vote system is what it sounds like. You have each person gets one vote, so everyone's vote counts equally. That's the kind of voting you would do for like a political election or something of that effect. And so um, between those two systems, we do cover a whole wide array of different types of voting. Of course, from there, we can implement all the different counting types and all of the different um, contest types that you might want to have. William, how are you? I'm excellent. How are you? Yeah, doing good, doing good. Doing good. Uh, just a little tangent here. These are the coolest guys at the conference. Been hanging out and partying with them the entire week, so appreciate it, guys. Thanks for uh, bringing me in. Brother from another mother, Adam, I feel you. Um, William, tell me about some initiatives that you guys have and, and where you see, like, where your focus is pushing this forward. So, as you can imagine, there are a lot of people out there who don't want to see us succeed. Um, and we've got uh, people in academia, in the computer science uh, field saying, you know, this is not possible. So we're really fighting an uphill battle at this point, and we have to prove a lot of people wrong. So we got together and we were like, how can we prove them wrong? So what we are doing is we are hosting a parallel election for the 2016 presidential election in the United States. So people can actually go out and experience what online voting could be like, see how transparent it is. And we're gonna, actually going to be inviting people to you know, come and test the security. We want people to try to hack it. You know, we want to prove out that this can be successful. So. And how, how do you guys feel that this project is going to create more freedom in somebody's life or anybody's life? Or like how this is definitely an entrepreneurial type project. How is it going to create more transparency or eventually end up in more freedom? So what we're really doing is giving a people a way to, to stand up and state what, what they believe in. And to go on record, a permanent, irreversible record that says, hey, this is what I believe in. And anytime you can give the power um, to people to, to remove anyone's ability to be uh, censored, you know, and, and for you to, to, to be able to stand up and, and broadcast to the world right there on the blockchain, this is what I'm all about. Um, a voting, the, the, the voting systems that, that, that um, 
we're developing are going to be used in a variety of different ways. People can go in and create their own polls. They can create polls around various issues. If they're passionate about something, they can create a poll and, and ask the world, hey, where do you stand on this issue? And so what you can do essentially is host a global poll. Now you, can put a, you can put a call out you know, to the world. You know, if you really want to be free and live in a free society, you say you could create a poll that says, hey, who, who I want to be, I want to live in a free society. Are you with me or uh, who's coming with me? And, lit- and literally, you know, you could see the people come, you know, stand up and, and band together and join together in a system like this. You know, you're connecting people, you're empowering people. And, and I think that's, that's the best way that this, this could um, ultimately result in, in the people freeing themselves should they choose to use our system in that way. I mean, I love the idea of the accountability that this brings and the transparency. Those are the two words that keep popping up into my mind, accountability and transparency. Like, no, you're going to be held accountable to your vote because now it's transparent what you voted for. Like, you can't run and hide away from it or stuff like that. I want to come back to the parallel election, though. Um, This is going to be done for the presidential election in what this year? Is it this year? (laughs) Seriously, I don't even keep up. I don't even know when the elections are. Um... So tell me how that's going to work. Tell me what like type of outcome you guys would want from that. So, yeah. So ultimately, we want to get more votes in a specific geographical location than the current system. If that happens, we can really stand up and say, you know, look at this. This is this is a big deal. We can prove out that there is demand for online voting. People want the convenience and security that they are not getting in the current system. Um, so I want to remind everybody, you can go and sign up for the parallel election right now on our website, followmyvote.com. Another initiative that I want to bring up right now is um, our ongoing initiative of trying to educate people on blockchain technology. Many people are familiar with Bitcoin. They know that um, Bitcoin is decentralized, but they don't really know the technology behind it and all the other applications that can stem from the use of blockchains. So that's something else that we really try to do on our website is educate people about the technology that we use and how much of a game changer it actually is. Um, so again, yeah, that's followmyvote.com. Check us out. Yeah, well, guys, thanks so much for coming on the show. Would you like to plug anything or give contact details or anything at all besides follow my vote? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you, we're, we're everywhere. I mean, if you think we have a very commanding social presence, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. We, we, we invite you to, to like us on Facebook and, and follow us on Twitter. Um, we have very active... Um, it's twitter.com slash follow my vote and on Facebook, the same thing, facebook.com slash follow my vote. Um, and, uh, we're on Google plus, we have a great, um, YouTube channel. Nathan's, uh, uh, did a really solid, um, uh, YouTube video on how blockchain technology works. Um, and we just cracked 5,000 views and it just, it just keeps going. It's, it's, um, it's trending. It's, we're getting more and more and more exposure. So there's a lot of really helpful videos and information on our website that can bring you up to speed. And, and, and another thing we're looking for is, is, um, people to contribute to the project. We've started an, an ambassador program where we're we're going around the world and in within every state in 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 the United States and finding people that are about this movement and that they want to be a part of it and they want to see a solution like this um, ultimately exist you know in in the world and um, we've got we've already gotten a lot of interest internationally we have um, someone on Norway um, the Netherlands um, uh, we have um, people in Argentina. Um, we have um, in, in D.C., in Boston. Um, I've met a few people here at this conference. Uh, we're going to be starting Arizona here, here in the next few days. Um, so it's happening. It's a big, big movement. And more importantly now than, than, than ever, we need developers. And we've also started a code contributor program. And there's an open call to developers um, around the world. If you know C++, talk to us. If, you're in, if, if you want to learn C++, talk to us. If you know about blockchain technology, you know, developing security protocol uh, design, you know, those kind of things are, are, are really what, you know, we need. We need the brightest minds on this project. And so you can go to our website, followmyvote.com slash code dash contributors and learn all about that program and how you can get involved. Well, I will definitely put in the show notes all of your links, social media links, website links, contact details and stuff. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been a, been a real pleasure. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Liberty Entrepreneurs Podcast. 
We're very interested in your feedback, how you think the show is going, any guests you would like to hear on the show, etc. So please email us at info at libertyentrepreneurs.com. Leave us a message on our Facebook account or tweet at us at Liberty E Podcast. We'd love to hear from you. See you again next week.